Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Continuing on with the landing gear design for the Avios Hobby King Grumman Albatross, I have started to work on the nose gear. And you see in front of you the wheel well and a pair of doors that I 3D printed. The wheel well includes the mount for the landing gear unit. The landing gear unit that you'll see inside is actually a 70 degree unit from the Avios Yak 52 main gear. I'm going to be using that as the nose gear and I'm not planning on having it steerable as I'm going to use differential throttle to steer on the ground or in the water. The other unit you see here is actually a, an Oleo unit you can buy from Hobby King. It actually comes in a set of three. The struts are actually exactly the same of the three that you get. The only thing different is the wheel diameter. This has to be modified slightly to uh, be acceptable for use in the Grumman Albatross. As you see here, as I retract the landing gear, strut grabs a hold of a spring that is straddling the doors. See it right here. This is a tension only spring spread across the open doors. The doors are held open by a pair of plastic leaf springs which are buried deep inside the, uh, the wheel well. It's not easy to see because they happen to be clear 3D printed on the clear well. But as you can see, the doors close up nicely behind the wheel. And it actually takes quite a bit of energy to open them up. If I grab in here, it takes quite a bit of, of push to get these things open with just the, uh, the spring that's holding them closed. So they shut very nicely. This wheel well unit will be dropped whole into a hole in the fuselage, which I will get to next in the next couple of days. And this is a true oleo strut in the sense that it is spring loaded. You can see it here. It's got a nice tension to it. I don't think it needs to be modified. More as it happens.